What a wild, wild, wild day it's been, folks. It is hot. It is humid as heck over here. And I am dying. But that is not going to stop me from entertaining every single one of you guys. And I am, of course, the heels of Balor's. And it's time to talk King and Queen of the Ring. Lots of wrestling this week. Of course, after that, it's going to be double or nothing from AEW. I'm going to talk about that as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. King and Queen of the Ring. Let's kick it off with the Queen of the Ring. All right, first up, the Queen of the Ring term as Lara Valkyria faces off against a to be determined opponent, which will be, again, determined on SmackDown in the form of either Nia Jax or Bianca Belair. I think Nia Jax will beat Bianca Belair, and she will be in the finals, and it'll be her and Lara. Big David Goliath storyline. And who do I think will win that match? And I don't want to say this, but I'm going to. I think the Queen of the Ring is going to be won by Nia Jax. Now hear me out. I know people are saying, Lyra, Lyra, Lyra. I don't know why. I just feel like WWE is going to wait a little bit to give Nia, uh, Nia, Lyra that big, you know, push. She made it to the finals, which is great. That's awesome. But I feel like they're going to give her a baby face, like, big thing. And I think a title run is more interesting for her, WWE-wise, than Queen of the Ring. I mean, I would lose my mind if Lyra won. I want her to win. I just don't see it. And I see WWE giving it to Nia Jax, because her gimmick will be, I'm Queen Nia, blah, 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 and then that will lead to the return of, you know, the Queen, Charlotte Flair, and, you know, Queen versus Queen, I can see WWE doing that and playing off that, Queen and Queen, and just doing all that shit, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Nia Jax to win Queen of the Ring, because... Why not? And I just feel like WWE's going to go that route. I will, again, I would lose my mind if Lyra Valkyria won. I'm a big Lyra Valkyria fan, since not NXT, obviously. But I feel like WWE's going to go with Nia Jax. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Nia Jax to win the Queen of the Ring. There you go. Up next for the Intercontinental Championship as Sami Zayn defends against Chad Gable and Big Bad Bronson Reed. Again, I've been calling him Big Bad Bronson for, for months. At you for about two years. But still, where's my royalties, WWE? Hand it over. Anyways, um, of course, Chad Gable has been a thorn in Sami Zayn's side for a while, since Canada, a few months, weeks ago. And, of course, Big Bad Bronson is in the storyline, which has been very fun. I, I like Bronson Reed. Again, dude is very underrated. Show some stuff to Bronson Reed. He's great. Um, Chad Gable has been, again, a ding-hole dick to his crew in the Alpha Academy. And, of course, he slapped Otis across the face last night. And then he did it again. And then, well, he did last week, and then he did it last night, and then, of course, that caused Otis to turn, quote-unquote, on Sami Zayn, even though, technically, after that, in the locker room, he apologized. Well, that. See, how can you people hate Otis? Dude's so cool and lovable. He, he's he's like a big teddy bear. He, he's so cool. Just just chill. Like, legit. I don't freaking know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, and, of course, we have Sami Zayn, all kind of stuff, you know, the O'Connell champ, all kind of stuff. Oh, anyways, who thinks really winning this match? Uh, I got Sami Zayn winning, retaining the IC title. I think Bronson's there to take the pin and eat the pin. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be the whole story of Chad Gable and Sammy, which I think will end in Montreal, Montreal, in Canada. Yeah, 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 man, in Canada, yeah, at Money in the Bank. Yeah, that's right, Money in the Bank. Um, yeah, I think it's where their storyline's going to end. Unless it could end at, uh, next month at Clash of the Castle, but I don't know. I feel like they're going to have Sammy Zayn maybe, like, lose the title in his home country. I don't know. That's just WWE doing WWE. I don't know. But uh, regardless, I think Sami Zayn's retained the Intercontinental Championship here. And uh, I think it's going to be a very fun match. This is the one match I'm really looking forward to on the card, and it's this match. But uh, Sami Zayn's retained the Intercontinental Championship. For the Women's World Championship, Becky Lynch defends against Liv Morgan. I, I just, I don't, I, I don't know. I, they lost the plot of me, man. I, I'm not really excited as I was when this first started. I mean, again, Rhea Ripley got hurt. Of course, Becky won the Battle Royale, so everything just fell in the WWE's lap, and they're just dealing with how they deal with it. You know, Liv Morgan's revenge tour, eh, it is what it is. I think that is, it's, I don't know, it's kind of cringe to me. That's just, that's just how I am with it. It's cringe. I don't really care for it. I like Liv Morgan at all. I just, I don't know. The whole thing is just cringe. Becky is, Becky's Becky. You know, uh, she's just being the champ. Did I, again, I'm gonna say this again. Do I think she need to be champ? Heck no. But she's, yeah, again, they gave it to her because, well, she was the only pretty much left to really take the mantle, like, in that match outside, again, of Liv Morgan or whoever else was in the match. So, they gave it to Becky Lynch. She's carrying the mantle. She's carrying the championship. Will she drop to Liv Morgan here? No. I don't think she's dropping it here. 
Uh, Liv Morgan's going to sink even more and more in the darkness after this match because I think she's losing this match to Becky Lynch. Will it be clean? No, I don't think it'll be clean. I think it'll be some wild shenanigans that causes Becky Lynch to uh, retain. I think uh, you know the whole thing with Lara Valkyria, Liv Morgan has attacked Lara Valkyria and basically berated her, which is not a good idea because that is Becky Lynch's buddy. And a kind of a pupil of Finn Balor, if you kind of think about it, because she trained in Finn Balor's school. Anyways, um, but yeah, I think Becky Lynch retained the Women's World Championship here. The story's going to continue. I never was saying, Liv should win here, Liv should win here, or she's buried. So like, ah, I just see WWE doing it here. I see WWE you know, giving uh, Becky Lynch the dub, and Liv will get the title. Just just not this. I wouldn't be surprised to give it to Liv. I just, I don't know. I just see WWE giving it to Becky Lynch and her retaining the title, and they're going to keep going more and more in detail with this whole storyline. So... Either Liv wins or she busts, and we'll see what happens next. That's just me. Becky Lynch retained the Women's World Championship. Again, all respect and love to Liv Morgan, but, you know, I think Becky Lynch retaining. All right, the King of the Ring Finals, which will be, well, the, his opponent hasn't been determined, but I think we know who it's going to be. The Ring General Gunther, who basically beat the living hell out of Jey Uso last night and choked that man out. Literally. No, that's literally what happened. VNC Raw. My gosh. Um, that was a very fun match, by the way. Um, yeah, we have him going up against who I think will be the opponent, Randy Orton. And uh, that will be determined opponent for SmackDown. Um, he's facing up against Tama Tonga. I think Randy's going to win because Kevin Owens is going to interfere and cause a little uh, distraction. That'll cause Tama Tonga to lose his very first WWE match. So that should be interesting. And uh, yeah, um, I really am looking forward to this. This match has never happened. So, yeah, it's one of those dream matches. Again, I want to use the word dream match a lot. Um, <laughs> but it's one of those dream matches that should be very fun. Randy Orton, after a legend, a band of done business for many years. The Ring General Gunther finally coming into his own many years. You know, Intercontinental Champ, of course. Uh, uh, freaking um, NXT UK Champ. Should have been the NXT Champ, too. I don't know, but that didn't happen. Anyways, um, I do have those two in the finals. And I think that Gunther is going to win. Yeah, Gunther's going to go in there and chop the Viper down the sides. He's going to go chop the Viper's head off. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you can say with this one. Uh, uh, Randy Orton is going to go out there and uh, put on a good show with Gunther. And uh, I'm really bored with it, though. Um, but, yeah, I think this is going to be the finals. It's going to be Randy Orton and, uh, you know, him and uh, not Melo, obviously. But, you know, I want to keep repeating myself with his name. <laughs> you know, Gunther is going to win the King of the Ring. That's what I'm trying to say. Gunther's going to win King of the Ring. And what does he do with it? I don't know. Maybe challenges for a championship. I don't freaking know. We'll see, but I have Gunther winning and beating Randy Orton in the finals of the King of the Ring and becoming King Gunther. So we'll see what happens to that one. Up next for the WWE Championship, I'm sorry, the WWE Undisputed Championship, whatever you want to call it. The WWE Championship online as Cody Rhodes defends against the United States Champion Logan Paul. I don't think they found an opponent for Logan Paul. I don't think they could have found somebody. So they just like, screw it. Let's have champion versus champion. Even though technically only WWE title is on the line. And Logan's is not because the guy tore up the contract last week, which was very funny. And he had weird security and whatever the heck that was. That, whatever the heck that was last week. I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, this is the first time this has happened. Logan's second time challenging for the WWE title. And uh, first time, of course, was in Saudi against Roman Reigns a few years ago. Very good show, too. That crown jewel is very, very fun. Um, but yeah, will he win it here? No. No, Logan Paul is not winning the WWE Championship at this match. Not, not yet. Down the road, he will. I guarantee you they're going to strap the rock shit to Logan Paul. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, Cody Rhodes, can he just won it. I don't see him losing, period. Like, it's going to be a while before Cody loses. He probably won't lose until 2025 or whatever. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with uh, Cody's reign. And this is uh, his second title defense. And uh, yeah. First one getting AJ Styles, and he's retaining this one as well. I have Cody Rhodes retaining the WWE Undisputed Championship. And, yeah, I don't think the show's going to be over because I think we'll get an appearance or a debut by a certain uncle. And uh, we'll see what happens with that one. If he shows up, he shows up. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But maybe Uncle Howdy shows up. I feel like this is where he's going to probably make his presence known is at the end of this match. He's going to take out Cody and probably challenge him for the title. Or, you know, I would guess he would challenge for the title. I don't know what he want with Cody, but... I don't know. Maybe we'll be in the king. Maybe we'll be in the king of the ring finals for all we know. I don't freaking know. I don't know where else we could really debut the the uncle and the stable. You know, maybe on Smat Day debuts. I don't freaking know. But I do have a. Uh, regardless of that, I have Cody Rhodes retaining the WWE Championship against Logan Paul because did the freaking the what was it called the the I guess the Buck Shuttler and what else we call it the Prime Shuttler as my friends call it the Buck Shuttler counting the crossroads, bro. That's gonna be sweet. I can't wait to see that. Oh my gosh. But yeah. 
like I said, Cody Rhodes is going to retain WWE Championship. And that is your predictions for WWE King and Queen of the Ring. And I hope you all enjoy it. I'm going to be busy this weekend. I'm going to be going on vacation those next few days. I'll be back on Monday. So I'm looking forward to it. And I'll be uh, in the woods. So I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. I'll be working on Double or Nothing as well. And you'll see that when you see that. Hope you all enjoy your day. Too sweet live button down below. Subscribe to us on this one. Follow guys on Twitter, Hill Baller. Instagram, Hill Baller YT. And I will see you all on the next one. Too sweet and peace out. Up next.